Hello everyone, and welcome back to MC Eternal. We are on the community server. There seems to be three of us online at the moment. And we're actually going to be checking out another base. So it, it's been a little while since we've done this, and we've had a lot of new players since I advertised the server over on uh, the MC Eternal Reddit uh, subreddit. Uh, so, so that's been very good. We've got a lot of new players. Both of these players are, are completely new. Well, not new now, but, um, you know, I think we got them from, from Reddit. It makes sense. I haven't asked them. Um, but yeah, I guess let's have a look. Okay, a typical uh, tree fluid extractor setup. We, we see these at pretty much every single base we go to. Because, I mean, plastic is used in quite a few mods. And uh, in some mods, it's even an alternative to rubber. So that's usually why we've got this. Seems to be set up with um, some RF transmitters. And what's this? A Supremium Furnace making the plastic. Nice. Oh yeah, um, what else have we got? Obviously, <laughs> we have this massive dragon. Absolutely insane. Oh, I think it just roared at me. Very cool. It looks like it has diamond armor. Very, very cool. I love the model for... Um, it, I, I'm pretty sure all the uh, mobs in Ice and Fire have these really cool textures where there's a lot of detail and they kind of sway a bit. Um, although he is very, very big. What else do we have over here? We seem to have... What is this? Elderwood. An elderwood tree, very nice. Um, some vampire stuff. The tooltip doesn't exist for for this block, but I'm pretty sure it's um for the hunter, you uh, know, the vampirism mod. Uh, we also have some water mills for some grid power, nice. Um, I like this uh this area how it's surrounded by these massive trees. This um what what biome is this that has these big trees? Are you gonna tell me? Um, coniferous forest. I'm a big fan of uh, these trees. Very much. Oh, yeah, what else have we got? We have massive um, birchwood pillars, it seems. Um, what else do we have? Um, I, I assume this is a farm. Oh, I think this is actually a, a forestry farm. Yeah, this is a forestry farm. I have never made one of these. And they always look so confusing. It seems to be some sort of multi-block. So I would definitely have to uh, watch a video to learn how to make these. Um, but they look very, very cool. Um, yeah, th this is a massive farm, I think. What do we have? Dirt, hummus, and sand. So confusing. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? I believe... Is it getting powered by these, or are these... What are these? Steam dynamos using charcoal. Ah, okay. So all of the wood from this, or some of the wood, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's all going here, is being turned into charcoal, with a few speed upgrades in these uh, Extra Utilities 2 furnaces. And then that's going into the steam dynamo, which is also getting a little bit of water from the sink. And then that's getting sent away through the Lux network and uh, this wireless transfer node, it seems. Okay. Um, over here, we also have the um, stuff for compact machines, the miniaturization field projectors. So these are pretty cool. We messed around with this a little bit in our uh, single player world. You can make nice little compact machines, which are sort of like pocket dimensions. A dragon forge furnace, it seems, or, or forge, I guess, would, would make more sense. Um, haven't played around with ice and fire too much, so not sure what that does. Oh, that is very loud. Um, nice little twilight forest uh, portal. Um, and we also seem to have just, you know, a little bit of farm, a little bit of food. Uh, we have a turret here. Very cool. This we tried to mess around with in single player, but uh, it was crashing our game. We might have to try it out again uh, nowadays, that it's been updated a little bit. Hopefully. Um... Some bee stuff. Pam's Harvest Craft. I like it. What is this? Chiseled cloth. Because this looks very cool. Look at this. It actually looks like a cloth. And it looks like it's being tied down. That is very cool. I'm a big fan of that. Okay. Um, let's head down here. Oop. A little watch your step moment. There seems to be some farms down here. <laughs> some farms, I say, as we enter into this room, which is just enormous. What do we have? Um, this seems to be like this, um, Supremium, or, or whatever it's called, uh, farm. Where, yeah, all this Inferium gets, like, auto-crafted into stuff. Okay. What do we have over here? This place is massive. This might take us a little while. Um, okay. Lots and lots of farms here. All different stuff. I don't like that the tooltip doesn't show me what the item is. Uh, I might be able to get a magnifying glass. Um, magnifying glass? From AgroCraft? Use this to inspect crops. I'm a little bit worried that I'll break the crop if I try it. Should I maybe try it on one of these ones over here? Let's try it on one of these. Okay, so I can shift right click it and it will tell me... Um, tier 4 Inferium Seeds. Is, there, is that all I have to do? Oh, 
Okay, that just harvested it. So it's not the it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Were we lagging or I don't know. We might be. Um, silver seeds, so we can oh, so we can actually have a look at all this stuff now. <laughs> I think we are lagging, which wouldn't surprise me. Hanging around this base. Yeah, we're actually. Our our tab menus tells us that we have an alright tick rate, but it seems to be struggling a bit. Hello. <laughs> oh, there we go. It might have been a bit bugged out. Not sure. Uh, this looks like lead. No, it's steel. Inductive iron. Dark steel. Jeez, they, they, they essentially just have everything down here, right? What's that over there? Some sort of wood. Maybe just blocking in the outside elements. Okay, let's uh, fly so we can get over here quickly. Ooh, we almost missed this smeltery. In fact, I don't see a controller on this smeltery, so I think that this goes um, pretty far into the ground. That's what I'm going to guess, so should we try and find it? Surely it's under here. Oh no, just some more farms. Interesting. Okay. I wonder how we get to that uh, smeltery. Maybe it's in that um, that other room over there. Which I assume we can get to a different way. I doubt we go through that little gap. That seems a bit bit weird. Let's close that. Um, can we check all these rooms? We, uh, sure. Um, it seems like we have... What do we have? We have a lot of experience here. All being stored into tanks or being transformed... Um, this is a fluid dictionary control. Let me just clear my inventory a little bit. Uh, this is a fluid dictionary converter. So what that will do is it will convert liquid XP into essence of knowledge. And you, you can do this with a, a few different um, items, but... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this seems to be like the enchanting room. There's a lot of um, lecterns and stuff, I guess. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Have a peace candle. Ooh, what's this? A reinforced large drum. I assume it's full of uh, experience. Uh, let's head into here. What do we have? Oh, we've got Steve. Nice. Oh, we have a... The door factory block is bugged out on my uh, end. I assume that's because I have Optifine installed, uh, which gives us all these, you know, ability to turn all this stuff around. Uh, and it doesn't, it doesn't like forge too much. So some mods it will bug out with. Nice. We have a nice little x-ray glitch. <laughs> okay. Uh, here's the smeltery. Okay. So, I'm a little bit confused. The smeltery's up here, but it seems like it goes further in the ground. Is that is that a thing you can do? Can you actually have it count further down? I've never tried that before, like having the um, controller all the way up here. I assume you can, because I assume that's what they're doing. That's really cool. I, I had no idea. You know, I love smelteries. <laughs> smelteries, uh, you, how can you not love them? And you learn something new about them every day. What is this? Transfer no transfer pipe, transfer node fluids. Interesting. Okay, I assume that's getting lava somewhere. And a chest. Okay, we have a, all the setup here. We have a we have an atomic reconstructor. I'm not sure where that shoots. If I'm honest. Oh, we also seem to have an enchanting room down here. A little bit hard to get around. A tinkering table. Is that made out of um supremium blocks? Th those um red. Uh, like the Inferium that gets upgraded into being red. Ooh, we have a magic room. A little nice magic temple. I like the, um, the pillars. And the enchanting room, obviously. Okay. Lots of holes in the walls. What's over here? Ooh. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I like that. I'm a fan of that. Ooh, and we have an elevator. Okay. Where does this go? Down? Oh. What? Oh. Okay, just into the mine. Ooh. Into the mine where we have the beneath teleporter, the nether teleporter. What's over here? Work in progress teleporter, and just the mine, I guess. Okay, I'm a, I'm a fan. I like it. I like that he turned his uh, mine shaft into just a, an elevator shaft. Uh, I think in the config as well, I might be able to change the um the length at which elevators work, so you won't actually need to have multiple levels. You'll just be able to go straight down. Uh, we can try that out later. Um, so down here, this seems to be like the central hub, right? A whole bunch of uh, generators. I thought these were furnaces. Some ender generators, magmatic. Um, seems to be a powered diamond anvil, which the texture seems to be a little bit weird <laughs> for me. Um, flux stuff, getting all the power. Okay. Wireless power. Empowerer. What is this? Derm Dermionic fabricator. Okay. Nice little walk around so that you can get the wires all around everywhere, I guess. We have a magma anvil. Oh, what is over here? This is really cool. This is uh, under a river. I, I think I have seen this before. 
So it's actually... I'm a little bit scared that I'm going to fall and break things. Yeah. So this is clear glass, which makes it look like the water's just flowing uh, naturally all around. It looks very, very cool. Ooh. Can you actually... Wait, wait. Let me try and land over here so I don't break any crops. What is this? Oh. A nice little spa. I like it. I, <laughs> I'm a fan. All right. Let's uh, head back and try and work our way through the labyrinth. Oh, is this... Oh, this bit's broken, eh? Interesting. Um, try and navigate through here. I like these uh, pipes that show the lava in them. They are very cool. What are these? Enderio fluid conduits. So they're the normal ones. I think normally we use the um, pressurized ones. Maybe that's why we don't see anything cool. Um, what's this? Vibrant capacitor bank. So just some storage, power storage, all hooked up behind. I like it. I like it. Um, what's over here? Some more carpenter stuff. Some more water stuff, it seems, just in general. Yeah. And th this right here, the funny story with this, this was their mob grinder, right? Oh, oh we, we almost got sucked in. He's got his fans set up all around so that all the mobs get pushed right in front of that. And then he can place a sword in there and the sword actually attacks and I, I think it gets XP for him. Uh, both on the sword tool because uh, if we actually look at Tinkers um, and try and find a sword here. Maybe if I search for sword. Um, see if there's any fully complete ones. You can actually see, um, see how it says the name of the sword, Pulsating Broadsword, level clumsy, XP 0 out of 20,000. So it actually levels up the XP for that, so that's pretty cool. Um, oh, yeah, in here, he, all of these um, spawners were spawning like non-stop things, and it was it was a mess. I had to come in here and uh, help him clean it up. <laughs> or not even clean it up, but just stop it. <laughs> It was like spamming the chat as all these like battle tower golems died. It was it was horrific to say the least. Ooh, what are these heads? That's horrific. Okay. Um. What do we have down here? Ooh. Another room. Ooh. Look at these chiseled bits. Oh, so cool. I, I'm a big fan. Big fan. In fact, yeah. They, these are this is a very narrow passageway. Oh, and these are little stairs. I didn't even realize that. That's very cool. Very very cool. Okay. Um, seems like, is this pink slime? I assume it is. Yeah, pink slime. Nice. Nice little sound muffler. Obviously, um, some simple storage networks. Um, cabling all hooked up. Nice. I uh, don't think there's much else to, to check out. Have we, have we checked everything out? Have I missed a room? I think I can head back up here. Um, I don't think we have. I don't think we have. I think we've gotten everything. Unless there's a hidden room that I don't know about. I think we're pretty good. We checked in here, right? Yep. With Steve. Okay. Well, there we go. There we have it. We can have a look at it at night now as well. All its beauty. Very sweet. See if anything like stands out as being somewhere we might need to check. Yep. Seems like we got everything. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope I hope you hope you enjoyed, and I hope that I uh, gave the base its uh, well-deserved tour. This base has been around a while. I think the first time I visited it, uh, there was something set up. Maybe the sprinklers were causing me a lot of FPS lag. So on their end, they were fine. But on my end, my computer was screaming. Um, so I managed to get that fixed. I think I disabled the sprinkler particles. Uh, so now I can actually show off his base finally. This base has been here for a long time. So I'm very happy that I've finally gotten around to being able to check it out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. I will be checking out other bases soon as well. We have a lot of new players and some of them have some really big bases that we need to get to before uh, before they progress even more because then we might be able to check out their base uh, two different times. See like a, a before and after. That should be pretty fun. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.